Now that you're able to connect microphones and instruments to your Scarlett, we're going to show you how to record them using Pro Tools. In this tutorial, I'm joined by the fantastic Grace George, who's going to be performing a section of one of her tracks for us to record. We're going to record Grace's performance in one take, capturing vocals and electroacoustic guitar. We'll be using the Scarlett Studio CM25 microphone to capture the vocals, and we'll be plugging Grace's electroacoustic guitar directly into the Scarlett to capture that as well. In this tutorial, we're using the Scarlett 2i2, but these steps will work with whatever Scarlett you have because we're just using the first two inputs. And you don't have to use the exact combination of microphones and instruments that we're using in this tutorial. You can use the information in the previous video to connect the microphones or instruments that you want to record. Using an XLR cable, connect the microphone to input one of the Scarlett and then turn on phantom power to ensure that this condenser microphone gets the power required to work. Next, connect the electroacoustic guitar to input two of the Scarlett. Then set this input to instrument mode as we demonstrated in the previous video. For the Scarlett Solo and 2i2, this can be done by pressing the button on the front panel so that inst lights up. And for the 4i4, 8i6, 18i8 and 18i20, open Focusrite control, go to inputs and switch input two from line to inst mode. Now play through your performance and adjust the gain dials to set the recording levels. Ensure that the gain halos are lighting up green, not yellow or red, as we explained in the previous video. If you're using a Scarlett Solo or a 2i2, then ensure that direct monitoring is turned on by pressing the direct monitor button once. If you're using a 4i4, 8i6, 18i8 or 18i20, then this will already be set up by default. Turn up the volume for your headphones until you can hear the microphones and instruments that you have plugged in. If you have speakers connected to your Scarlett, please use the monitor dial to turn down your speakers while recording in order to avoid feedback. On the Scarlett Solo, the monitor dial controls the speakers and the headphones, and we still want to use the headphones, so you'll need to turn off your speakers to record. Now, open Pro Tools first, and let's set up so that we're ready to record. You may be asked to log in using the details that you created when setting up Pro Tools first. Then select Create and uncheck Create from Template. We're gonna start with a blank session. Name your project and select Create. In a previous video, we showed you how to set your Scala as the playback engine, which tells Pro Tools first that the Scala is the device that we want to use for audio input and output. Select Setup, Playback Engine. Under the Playback Engine drop-down menu, you need to have your Scala interface selected. If you select your Scala from the drop-down menu, then Pro Tools will automatically close and restart. If your Scala is already selected, then you're good to go. Next, come to Track, New, create two mono audio tracks like so. Right click on the track header and select rename. We want to rename track one to vocals and we want to rename track two to guitar. These are the two audio tracks that we're going to be recording onto, and we need to tell each of these audio tracks where they'll be receiving audio from. You'll remember that we plugged the vocal microphone into input one and the guitar into input two. So on the track headers just here, we need to select input one for the vocals track and input two for the guitars track. Next, go to options and ensure that low latency monitoring is selected, which turns off software playback while recording. The reason we're selecting this option is because we're using direct monitoring as opposed to software playback 
while recording and this will help us avoid latency. The final thing to do before we record is to record arm these two tracks. You need to click on this circle on each track like so and you'll see them turn red and flash. You're now ready to record. Press the record button in the top bar up here and press play to start recording. You can hit the space bar to stop recording once you're finished. Just look at what you could have had as I'm walking away. Here comes the realization that you, you made a mistake. And when you see me, if you don't know what to do, just remember, baby, I'm better than you. Once you've pressed spacebar and finished recording, press the record arm buttons again to turn them off. There we go, you can now record microphones and instruments into Pro Tools first using your Scala. I'm now going to show you how to do a basic mix of your recording. To put the playhead back to the start of the project, press this return to zero button just here and spacebar will now be your play and stop control. You can control the volume of each of these recordings by clicking and dragging up or down just here. To reset any of the controls to their default setting, hold down Alt or Option and click on the control, like Volume, to reset it. You can also add effects to the recordings that you've just captured. I'm going to show you how to put some reverb on the vocals. Here you'll see inserts A to E. Click on the first empty slot, go to Plugins, Reverb, select Dverb Mono Plugin. You can now see the Reverb plugin that you've just loaded onto this vocal track. You can select presets up here, like the vocal plate for example. And then the only control that you need to use in here is the Mix Fader. This allows you to control how much reverb is being applied to the vocals. 100% wet means that you're hearing a lot of reverb, and 0% or totally dry means that you're hearing no reverb. You can adjust this to your liking. You can then close this reverb plugin by clicking the cross in the corner. If you want to reopen the plugin again and make some adjustments, then you can click on it just here. You can also experiment with adding more effects from these menus like delay, EQ and more. The plugins that you have available in this menu will depend on the version of Pro Tools that you're using. You can now progress on from this video and we'd love to know whether you're up and running with your new Scala. If you are, that's great, but if you still require some assistance then we can direct you towards our support team.